Celebrity Psychic Medium, Tony Green here, bringing you another hour of what I like to loosely call entertainment. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Man, I make myself laugh a lot, a lot. I'm just saying, I need a bang term too. Hey, Thor, I'm going to be calling you soon. <laughs> All right, enough of the foolishness. Let's get going. Okay, so on today's show, on this episode of um, Psychic Medium Tony Green, we will be covering a lot of what we always cover. <laughs> I just can't even with myself today. It's even too much for me. Okay, here we go. Okay, for those of you who are new to the show, welcome. And we are so happy to have you. For those returning, thank you so much. You already know the drill, but I'm going to repeat it for the newbies. Um, if you would like to join the show live, it's every Monday and Wednesday at um, noon central. The call-in number, if you would like to ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the call-in number is um, 897. Nope. Nope. That's the business number, folks. The call-in number is 845-277-9131, or you can join us live on YouTube. On YouTube, you can join the chat. The pre-show chat. Hey, Fawn, I didn't even see you earlier. Oh, my goodness. So Amy May is on here uh, on the chat. Patrick's on the chat. Sal, Steve. Um, let's see who else is on the chat. I know there's somebody else. Uh, Amy Hugh is on the chat. Anne is on the chat. Um, if I missed you, I, I'm really sorry that I missed you. I had not ever my in fawn. I think I said fawn like four times already. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Everybody's on the chat. You can ask questions in the chat. And um I will answer them. I have a quest question from Amy May already that I am going to answer in a few moments. But before I do that, uh, when you call in, please have a specific question available. Um, if you wanna connect with a loved one on the other side, please have a, a specific person and um, a question for them or just that you want a message from them. And I do like to start with a specific person. Otherwise, there are so many people here already like in the room. So I like to just make sure that I get the right person and the right um, messages, um, so on and so forth. Okay, Emily, hey. So, and again, um, I take callers first because they've already been waiting, some of them for a very long time. So I go back and forth between my callers and the um, chat. Um, yeah. And that's what I do. So, hey, Sal, in case I missed you, because everybody is putting in LOL Sal. So, hey, Sal, <laughs> I have a song request. Oh, my God, Sal, that's why. Okay, what's your song request? You just, okay, wait, Sal, I think you want to know what song is coming through for you. Okay, the first song I hear, the very first song I hear, Sal, is... um. Don't you forget about me. Na, na, na. Don't you when you walk on by and you turn your head. <laughs> I don't know, Sal. I'm so sorry. I don't know all the words. Um, I love that song, by the way. And then the other song that is coming through. And I'm only getting like this much of that song. This much is, um, oh gosh, it was there for a second. Let me just refocus in on your song, Sal. And the song is, um, and never, uh, I can't do this. I don't think I can do it. Let them tear us apart. Don't, 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 don't. I think that's all I can pull off of that song. But I will tell you, 
that era of music. Uh, it's saying like, you say something a thousand years. Does anybody know that song? L Never let them tear us apart. Never let them tear us apart. Um, I don't even want to try to sing it because I know I can't sing, but that song, that beat, that everything is, is so like, you have to be so doing the robot dance apparently when you do it, but yeah. Okay, so Sal, those are the two songs. Two songs. Um, I have for you, if anybody else wants to know what song's coming through for them, please uh, just say, what's my song? And usually the song is either A, answering a question, or B, from a loved one on the other side because they know you love the song or they love the song. All righty. Uh, before I go to callers, and I do this before I go to callers because once I start taking callers and questions, I get so lost in it. Half the time, I don't even know. I'm almost at the end of my hour. So here, um, here's my first dating thing of the day. And this came through. I was talking to um, a friend who is also a client and a spirit ad had me ask her this question, and it was such an amazing question that I knew instantly I wanted to put it on this show. Would you date yourself? Would you date yourself? And if so, why? And if not, why? And then just take that list and, and improve on it. Um, all the reasons you would date yourself are the things that you find in other people attractive and that you want reasons why you want to be with them. And... Um, all the things, all the reasons why you would not date yourself are the things you think everybody sees in you, but they're also the things you pull out of other people. So would you date yourself? Okay. And then there's something going around TikTok and I'm going to kind of, I have like all these notes for today and I'm going to kind of pop around. There's something going around TikTok that talks about, um, being a high value person and the definition of being a high value person and every single person, I don't care if you're homeless. I don't care if you're spinning on a pole. I don't care if you're working at, um, your job is cleaning up horse poop. You are a mother fudging high value person. I don't care if you don't have body work done, I don't care if you eat with your hands. I, I don't care. You're a high value person. So I watch all, a lot of TikTok. Shamefully, no. Not shamefully at all. Um, but there's this thing going around that if you want to date a high value man, you have to be a high value woman. And this is what it means to be a high value woman. Well, I'm going to put two fingers in the air to everybody who says that because everybody is a high value person, regardless of the job they have, how they outwardly look, uh, what, what, how they, this one woman was saying that she, she's very wealthy, apparently, and she was saying that because of the way somebody used their fork, who was also wealthy and in their private clubs, um, she was not a high-value person because she was eating like an animal camping. Fudge you. Fudge you. And stop judging people. Who cares how somebody uses a fork? In, in other countries, a lot of times, they don't even use silverware when they eat. So go want, want yourself. That's all I can say to you. Go want, want yourself. Every single person walking the face of this earth is an extremely high value person. Even people I don't appreciate. <laughs> okay, I don't, the people I don't appreciate, I'm just going to say I don't personally know them. I just don't appreciate this, the 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 stuff they're trying to do to the United States, maybe. So let me clarify that. <laughs> but the bottom line is every single person is a high value person, okay? And what makes us high value is what's inside of us. If you think 
having a high value person as a partner or having this job title or having these blown up lips or boobs or anything makes you high value. What happens when that's gone? Did you just deflate your value because your boobs popped? Did you just lose all your value because you got you you don't have your job? No. Our value is us. Our essence, who we are inside and out whether other people deem that to be good or not that's who we are that's it we are high value from the moment we are created in the the the, the little swimmer meets the little egg value created Value created. They pay a lot for eggs and they pay a lot for sperm. So value in each of those, they come together, pew, more value. And however somebody uses their fork or how they speak or how they do anything doesn't matter. Mm, sorry to burst your bubble for trying to make yourself feel better than everybody else you're talking to in your little video. It's not a video. It was a real video. But don't, don't, don't do that. If you do social media, don't do that. Build everybody up. Build everybody up. Don't tell people what their value is because people have a hard enough, a difficult enough time understanding how to love themselves without people like that coming on and telling them more reasons why maybe they shouldn't. So let's just not do that, okay? Okay, 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 okay. I think that's from a song. I know that's from a song. I do, I do, I do, I do. AKA, uh, I can't even do it with the A. AKA, 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 I can't sing. <laughs> let's just go there, okay, everybody. Okay, we are, hey, Jay Francis, how are you? Uh, uh, I kind of like the high value videos. It's a guy giving people a reality check. Nope. Those are the, that's not who I, this was a woman who was going after actually somebody in her own clique, her own group. Um, okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to callers. There's so much more here that I wanted to discuss today about stuff but I just want to I just want to go to callers now um maybe this stuff will come up but I'm going to callers now um I'm gonna go to a 780 what's your name where are you calling from hey Conus G calling from mm -hmm. Canada I guess this call is for entertainment purposes only right because you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> Laughter, yeah. talking about songs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Entertainment all the way around, Jay. How have you been? <laughs> well, it's been pretty good. Got some things out of the way. Uh, looking forward to my, you know, date of twenty uh, fourth when I'm no longer working with the company and uh, looking for a new adventure. So it's nice. gonna be interesting for sure. Nice. How about nice. yourself. Everything is going amazing, Jay. Thank you so much for asking. So what's your question of the day? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, that's my mom on the other side. I got to choose between four different, I guess, industries to apply for. And that'd be only home or construction, you know, being a parts person or technical. I just wonder what my mom thinks, which one I should go into. Or maybe that's the second question instead of a mom question. You know, I'm, I'm getting that the best, I keep hearing home, home, the first one you said, that's the one. Now, the second thing that I'm hearing from your mom is like, just do what brings you um, pleasure or joy or happiness, which one you think is going to make you like the uh, happiest is the way to say that. Also, um, there's something coming in. I know you do something like on your own 
like um, you have some things that you do on your own. And what I'm hearing is allow them to have more of a forefront in your life. Allow them to come in and be more um, prevalent in your life. Um, and I feel like one of the other things that she would say is, um, okay, two songs are coming in. Uh, one is Enrique Iglesias, the younger. Um, okay. Would you dance if I asked you to dance? <laughs> Uh, hero, um, you can be my hero, baby. <laughs> you can be. I was like trying so hard to fast forward through all of the lyrics to get to that part of the song, so I didn't have to mumble them online. Okay. Oh my gosh, hero, you can be my hero, baby. And then the the second, I, I'm gonna have to come back to the second song because trying to get to that, like I. I kind of lost the second song, but it will come back. Um, but the first song being Hero, um, there's something, uh, yeah, there's something that's very prevalent that you need to, you need to let it have a more prevalent role in your life. You need to bring it more to the forefront. You need to work with it a little bit more. You need to, um, whatever all of that means, okay? And then the, the uh, other thing, is that you are going to have um, some luck coming in. Um, and this is in a month. Between a month and a month and a half, you're going to have some luck, luck coming in. Um, and I, when this luck comes in, don't, like we often say, oh, oh, sorry, everybody, hold on a second. Um, I don't know how to, I don't know. I, sorry. Hey, everybody online, how do you stop the Amber emergency alerts for the silver alert? I can't get this off my phone. I, uh, uh, there, now it's gone. It's going to come back again. I'm so sorry, Jay. Um, there was a silver alert. It's okay. Um, so I figured it out. Fi finally, finally figured it out how to get it off my phone. I thought I turned those things off. Um, okay, so the second thing is when this luck comes in, don't think of it as, oh, here's my luck and now I have to go back. Say, oh, you know, just like when something negative happens, we often think, you know, it's going to keep happening. Something positive is coming in. Just keep thinking the positive thing is going to just keep going, keep going, keep going. Like it's building on, e on itself to create a whole, um, like a new cycle, a new era, a new cycle. So just keep with that. Okay, Jay. And you're going to be amazed at how everything turns around. Um, and that, uh, and the second song is, um, I, I don't like this artist. I never have. I never have. But I'm going to sing the first, the one, the one line I'm hearing. And you can dance. <laughs> um, get into, get into the groove. It's, it's that Madonna artist. Um, it's, that, it's that Madonna person. <laughs> I just, yeah, I do yeah. not, I never have, I don't, it's just sometimes when you know, you know, from the go. Um, but yeah, that song is the second song coming in. And I think that's just saying, have fun and enjoy your life. Okay, love? Lovely. Great message. Excellent. And um don't um, stress. Everything's going to work the way it's supposed to. Absolutely. All righty. Are you great for the musical psychic reading? <laughs> <laughs> psychic. And everyone um, out there, it's amazing how many songs you have in your head, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It is. Um, sometimes it's a little like that. This is truly how they speak through all of us is with music. Um if you have a question and you turn on the radio within a couple songs, that question is going to be answered. You just have to acknowledge it. Um, 
there was, a, this tells you a little bit about my past dating life, but um, I was dating this guy and I knew it was, this was years and years and years and years and years ago. Um, and I knew it was time to break up, but I really didn't know how. <laughs> and I kept hearing for like, oh God, for the only song that was coming through in my head was um, run away, run away if you want to survive. And that part of the song just played again and again and again and again. So spirit like really will speak through us speak to us through music and um, help us to under, understand understand what we are supposed to be doing and the next step to take if we're questioning things. And whether it's a song that comes on or a song that's been playing in our head, it is really pertinent in our life at that time. Lately, all the songs I've been getting have been for everybody else, though, which I love because it's bringing in music I normally wouldn't think about or listen to or um, would have never even heard before. Um, so yeah, so I love it. So anyway, Jay, thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful to have touched base with you. Absolutely. And you're welcome. Have a grateful afternoon and grateful readings and grateful for people on the line and have a grateful, uh, beautiful moments. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much, Jay. You too. You too. And until next time, keep shining. Till next time. Till next time. <laughs> keep being a bright light. Yeah, you are too. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is 216. And then Amy May asked a question online. I'm going to answer that. 216, where are you calling from? And where? what's, what's your Hi, name? Hi, this is... Oops. You there? Yep, I'm here. This is Sharon from Ohio. Happy holidays. It's a holiday today. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey there. So how can I help you, love? Quick question. Um, oh, I'm trying to say this in a very direct so you understand. Um, my boss was out for, she's, she's like the, the team lead, the manager of our team in our department. She was out for a month. She was very, very sick. And she came back after a month and she's been kinder. I don't know if this sickness or she's fine now, but if this changed her, she used to be pretty nasty to me. Is she going to stay being kind or is she going to go back to her old ways? I did get a good review and a nice raise and bonus, but it's, that has nothing to do with the way she acts sometimes. Um, I do feel like this might have something to do. There's a couple of reasons why she's being nicer or kinder. And one of them is a medication uh, they put her on. I feel like this medication is helping her to relax a bit. And that's so smart. I don't take this up and that you probably, because I just know her and I just, I just go on. What else you say? What else you you picking up? I do feel like, um, she is, you know, sometimes when we are, I'm getting, I'm getting a number of different things here. Sometimes when we're in pain, we don't even realize we're pain. Or when we're sick, we don't realize we're sick because we just work through things. And I feel like prior to her being out, she'd been uncomfortable for quite some time, physically, emotionally, psychologically. And I do feel like some of that has subsided. I do feel like she's going to be out again. I do feel like there's going to be something else that possibly comes in, unfortunately, where she's a temporarily out again. I do feel like this is helping her to me, I don't want to say be a better person, but to to come around and see. Thank you. Have compassion. Now, how long it's going to last? I, I feel like um, she's going to she I feel like she's going to be out again. She's going to be out of work again for a, a small bit of time. And that's going to have something to do with her health again. For after effects. Yeah. So okay. I feel like you have a little reprieve um, from all of this. And I hope, you know, I, I hope that just take advantage of the time you have. And then she'll be out for a bit of time. And when she comes back, she'll still be 
in this more compassionate or kinder mode. And then we'll look at it then to see how much longer it will last. I, I, know. I know. Isn't it sad to have to ask that? I'm telling you, Moody Rudy, that's all I can say. It's, well, it's, I do know hurting people hurt other people, but... I, I do know that. Yeah. And we have to also look at one thing a lot of people don't consider. And in this day and age is um, sometimes for women, especially um, one thing we, we forget to take into consideration is people who go through certain things like menopause don't even realize they're being you know, as out of sorts as they mm -hmm. are. And I until know. they get a that balance back in their system, you know, it, it really is. It's like a teenager the first time they go through their menzies and they're they're not they're not willing or they don't know yet how what's coming or how to handle it or how to control their emotions with it. It's kind of the same thing on the flip end of it. It's crazy. But however, now, however, I am going to say this also. Um, there are plenty of natural things and pharmaceutical things that can help with this area of thing. I don't think that's it though. I think she's just, she has been extremely uncomfortable in her own body for a long time. I do feel like she's going to be out of work. I do feel again due to illness and then she's going to come back and everything should be okay. Uh, and we'll see, we'll just see how long or it, I feel like whatever medication they gave her um, for maybe for stress or anxiety is going to help her, um, long term. I do feel like that. I feel like it's something she's going to stay on for quite some time. Okay, love. Thank you so much for your, that was very wise insight. Yes. In a couple months, I always call every three or four months when I have a Monday offer. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a call back then, but thank you. Okay. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day and good luck at work. You, you as well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, till next time, I'm going to go, Amy May had asked a question way before the show started and she asked, um, tomorrow's going to be 22 years that her mom is gone. And, um, and I first, I'm sorry. And Amy May, that's not her real name. That's actually her mom's name. Um, I'm serious about lunch this weekend. If you can, I'd love to do that with you again. Um, and the first thing I already told her a few things that her mom said, but I told her I'd pick it up on air because I can just channel faster than I can, um, type. And so the, the first things that her mom said are in the chat. If anybody wants to know what those are, the next thing that her mom is saying, always choose you, no matter what else is going on in your life, choose you, choose you, choose you. There's no reason to, um, like, um, I don't want to say put your, put your life in a holding pattern. Well, okay, no matter how I try to avoid to say this, it's coming out because don't put your life on hold and then the holding pattern, put your life on a holding pattern came out. Um, just, yeah, okay, I'm just going to say it because I can't get around it. Um, move forward with your life. Do what's best for you. Choose you. That is it for today. Thank you so much, everybody. Have an amazing day. Thank you.